I think there's nothing harder than finding the right size and the right look from online shopping. And it is often easy to get a wrong size or style and you have to return it for the one that you want. But then it takes like another month for this whole process before you can get your item, which is really annoying. So to propose a solution for this, there are some AI researchers out there who have dedicated their time to solve this problem, which is also known as virtual try-ons. When given a pair of images, we will want to apply, for example, the genes onto the other image and in order to do that it will require us to synthesize high resolution images and the best image synthesizer right now is StyleGen2. So a group of researchers from Google, MIT AI Lab and UW published this paper called Vogue Virtual Try-On by building upon StyleGen2 with various other algorithms to create this photorealistic try-on AI. So it looks really natural and high quality when you see the garment projected onto the person. It is is really flexible in projecting the garment too. It not only is capable of being projected onto different poses, but also can be applied to different directions of the body, different body postures, and even project short sleeves onto a person who has long sleeves on. Even when the arms were not shown from the input image, it is able to synthesize consistent skin tones just by determining it from the hand and the neck. Really, really impressive. The same goes for projecting the pants too. It gets the right waist level and even generates buttons that were not present in the referencing image. Not only that, it is also able to generate a pocket where the hand can fit into accurately too. I would definitely not have noticed this because it was just too natural. Such small details able being recognized by the AI is just surprising. However, if you look closely, you can tell that the original image and the resulting image is slightly different in the region that is not supposed to change. And this is actually because it is the way of generating these images that makes it look different. To put it simply, it's like music categorization map where in different directions you move, the slowly the genres changes. They are all still music of course, but they sound gradually different when you move from the border of one category to another. To put it into the perspective of Vogue try on, instead of music, we now have clothes. And so the music genres are like the type of clothes. From hip hop to classical is like from short sleeves to long sleeves. And the garments inside the image is now being represented by having dots on the categorization map. And in a more technical term, this map is called the latent space. It exists in between the encoder and the decoder and it represents the image data in the most compressed form. Because it is so compressed, by slightly changing its values of this latent space, representation can affect the generation when it is being decoded at the end. And instead of just being a compressed image data, this AI focused on the garments instead of like the RGB values or other less relevant details. In the good old days, we have never dreamed about controlling this latent space because it is a very complex form of data and tuning it was basically impossible. So after a lot of research papers in the recent years made by a lot of different AI researchers, we are now able to control the latent space representations like we never had before. And you can see that these kind of tasks has been shown a lot in AI face generation, where we get the input face latent space representation, and we can then adjust the representation to get different hair lengths, mustache, gender, age, and even more while preserving the original look. So this technique has been applied into this research paper with modifications and additions such as image segmentations for different regions of the body, from the top, the bottom, the neck, the chin to the hands. And so this is how the AI can recognize where the arms are underneath the clothes and generate human skin over the arm instead of just clothes. However, there are also improvements to be made to this paper, and it is far from perfect yet. So far, this AI is only capable of clothes with plain colors or simple patterns. Anything more complex than that, such as a logo, cannot be easily transformed into accurate latent space representation, therefore in the generation would turn out distorted too. And if you also look closely at the patterns or the buttons, they are also not completely perfect. And to exactly imitate Tryon, they need to also figure out how to represent different clothes sizes. But just by looking at the progress this paper has made against the older research papers, I am pretty optimistic that this can turn into a very helpful tool in the near future. And this video is sponsored by Infinite Red. Infinite Red Consulting handles your mobile, web, and AI needs. If you are looking for someone to build your app, visit with the link 
link down in the description. Thank you guys for watching as usual and a big shout out to Mark Schwinn and many other patrons that support my work through Patreon. Join my Discord and follow my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see you all in the next one.